All right, folks. Hello, and welcome back to Downstage Gaming. I'm your host, Josh, and this is part 12 of our Let's Play of Paradise Killer. When we last left off, we did a lot of, uh, of apartment searching here. Got some goodies at various apartments around here as we explored this area. Uh, and we wanted to go ahead and try to meet Crimson this time. Somewhere down there. Because uh, I know we're very close, and I know Crimson has some some goodies awaiting us. So let's see if we can get over that way. She said that there was a sort of secret entrance in the sewers, which it's looking like maybe might be... Yep, this way. How's it going, Crimson? Been looking for you for quite some time. Oh, we're gonna go into your place, huh? Syndicate idol and seek trader touched by God. Good to see you again, lady. It's been too long. Born in the hospital of our martyred goat, England, in AD 1002, under the sign of Endless Moon. As a teenager, Crimson left home to fight for Endless Moon in France. She excelled at guerrilla operations and became known as the glamour of the battlefield due to her stunning beauty and presence. When the great betrayal happened, she fled to join the syndicate. <laughs> Hello, Starlight. Thank you. We're in a dark time. Someone who's played a hell of a hand against the Syndicate. It's bad enough to bring the Exile back. Sorry. Forgive me for being blunt, Crimson, but the head? Things change. While you were gone, I got blessed by the gods. Love the new I'm look. Glad to be back. The new look suits you. Good. It adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the ensemble. <gasps> What's the A to B to C with the, uh, sewer pad? Quiet place to get away from everyone. <laughs> no one ever looks in the sewers. <laughs> After I became blessed, Montserrat convinced me to be the Syndicate's idol. Doesn't add up. Someone for the citizens to look up to. If you pray hard enough and serve the gods as best you can, yada yada. That kind of thing. It's good to have a place to hide away and run my sideline. Everyone needs their own space. How's the market in secrets? Nice doing business. On an island full of snakes, where everyone's got something to lose and something to gain? Business is booming. Look, before we get into the secrets I can sell you, we need to talk about your investigation. Secrets are dangerous. Judge brought you back from exile. You have their authority. You can find any truth. Lady, you're in some deep trouble. Not everyone wants you to punish the guilty. They're going to want you to remove certain players and redefine the shape of the Syndicate for their own ends. Be careful with the power you've got, lady. Business is big. So, do you want to buy a secret? I mean, I've certainly got, uh, got plenty of blood crystals. Let's talk about the case first, see what you got for me. I gotta say, I'm surprised that Crimson is the first one to say, like, hey, like, everyone here is trying to play you. She seems like the type to play me more than anyone, but we'll see. You think Henry did it? Do you? I'm asking you. Honey. I don't have enough details. How did he escape? How did he breach the seals? The answer to every question seems to be a hand wave, and he's possessed by a demon. I have my way. Convenient answers are dangerous. What secrets do you have? Anyone got a motive for last Thank night? Thank you. Lady, I've got lots of secrets to sell. I can give you a lot of different people's motives. I just don't have an opinion on who did it. Sure. Who's got motive, then? That's true. These all come at a price. I'm not handing out candy. Secrets take a lot of work to acquire. I've got something on the Grand Marshal, the Architect, the Doctor, the Happy Couple, and the Witness. That's pretty much everyone, isn't it? Business. It's Take your pick, but come with your wallet. I'm glad to be back. You're going to make a tidy profit. Don't be coy. You got a point? Any reason why you would kill the council? I'm going to be straight up with you, lady. This island is full of snakes, and I want you to hear this from me. me. I hate what the syndicate have done to me. I'm an idol they trot out to rally the citizens. I gloss over the misery with a pretty smile. I haven't got anything against idols, but this isn't for me. Montserrat devolved into paranoia. Sorry to speak ill of the dead. He was tightening his grip on us all. <laughs> One of the first things to go on the next island is my little emporium. Dictators can't have someone peddling secrets, can they? Is that enough to drive you to kill the entire council? 
No, I didn't do it, but someone did, and they're going to want to shift the blame. That's why I'm being straight with you. I like Crimson's style. This is, this is maybe one of my favorite characters so far. Ooh, the Yuri's got some things to say about Thank you. you. Oh, I bet he does. He isn't my biggest fan. He says you want to be a soldier again. Says you want to be in the marshals. Secrets breathe How do you two start talking about that? Uh, Asking around about motives. We're in a dark time. And he thinks that's enough to be my motto? That I kill the council just to try and get to be a marshal? Are you denying it? We're in a dark no, time. No, it's true, lady. Do you really think that's motive for mass murder? It sounds tenuous to me. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. I was dreading the snakes getting to you. It's no secret I want out of a life forced on me. I would love to be a soldier again. It has to be done the right way, though. Not through mass murder. Just a little murder, like one or two. Where were you last night? I was here at my hideout, waiting for Lydia's pickup. I was one of the last to leave the islands. Yuri thinks he's funny by making me wait. I left when Judd summoned everyone for the crisis meeting. Any evidence of that? None. Got it. That paints you in a bad light. I can only tell you the truth. If I knew a mass murder was going down, I'd have to got I'd have got a way to collaborate corroborate my alibi. There weren't any whispers of what was about to happen. Nothing. If Henry didn't do this, whoever did it managed to keep it extremely quiet. Am I talking? Am I taking your word on that? Secrets I'm running a business here. If I had something, I'd sell it to you. We need to talk, Acid. Business. Is you business. never call me Acid. When Why was KHX accusing you of stealing the key the to the second holy seal? What do you mean? Oh, uh, shit. Crime this makes you crime. a prime suspect. Spill it. What? I promise I didn't kill the council. I need you to know that. I have a bad feeling Get on with this. it. The holy seals are the holy grails of secret hunters. They're so locked down and under wraps. Who knows? I was losing sleep each night thinking about them. I knew KHX designed the second seal, so I started talking to him. I also knew he was obsessed with me. Got it. Obsessed. Doesn't add up. More than I expected. I thought he was just horny for me. But he had got it into his head that if we achieved perfection on the next island, he'd ascend to heaven. Paradise feels His wonderful. diary called you his queen in the astral heaven. Good snooping lady. Since I'm blessed by the gods, he coveted me as a trophy queen. The guy was out of his mind. I have a bad feeling You keep about using this. the past tense. I'm not stupid. If the council got on the bad side of a killer and the person who designed part of their security is missing, he's either dead or might as well be. The facts and the truth. Did you do it? Please. Even if he was going to squeal to Montserrat? I talked him down! I strung him along in a relationship. I can persuade him to do almost anything. Except give you the secret to the second holy seal. There was a data key. He got it. I took it and made a copy. How did you copy it? Weird. You ask a lot of questions. I have my it's almost way. like it's your job. Someone in Masayurevi Industries owed me a favor. That favor was an hour in one of their high-end computer labs. It turned out to be heavily encrypted digital key on a flash drive. I put the key back in his workshop, apologized profusely, and did something to take his mind off it. Got it. Did you use the key? Who knows? No. I know where and how, though. The obelisks on the beach, the key works on them. The investigator and is And that's here. the second seal secret. No, there's more, but I don't know what. Why didn't you use the key? What do you mean? Bad vibes, lady. I could feel it in the air. Things were happening on the island. Crime is this still makes you a suspect, Crimson. I know. <laughs> I found a tuft of your hair in KHX's workshop, and dies, that puts you at the scene of a disappearance. Come on, lady, you know that doesn't prove anything. Well, we already got the bit there anyway, so. Why would Akiko kill the council? Secrets aren't free. Yeah, I mean, listen, we got Blood Crystal to spare after last I'm time. Let's go. Deal. Good work. 
Good crystals, minimal imperfections. Akiko is a soldier through and through. She's also their leader. They're the only family she's ever wanted. Who knows? The marshals aren't syndicate though, they're citizens. A security measure by Montserrat. They don't have our immortality and they don't get moved between islands. The investigator is here. That makes them expendable too. Precisely. <laughs> Akiko had endured a millennia of sadness watching her troops die or get left behind. She wants them in the syndicate. Get them gene get them gene therapied up and create a battalion of immortal soldiers. End her heartache. She has mentioned the syndicate to try and get her marshals inducted. Been refused every time. She's hurting and she's angry. <gasps> what does she get from murdering the council? She wouldn't be promoted to a position where she can change the rules and keep her marshals alive between islands. She'd use the murder to scare the new council. The untouchables became touched by the hand of death. She could argue for increased militarization on the next island, scapegoat, scapegoated on a citizen, and panic the next council into creating martial law with troops inducted into the syndicate. Sure. Use loyal troops rather than expendable troops. Precisely. Montserrat was always scared of immortal soldiers having dangerous thoughts and leading a coup. I have my way. If Akiko did this, she proves that the threat isn't from the marshals. Sure. Got any proof? Thank you. Sure do. I pulled this from the moon database. You never know when something like this will come in useful. Thanks. Lady, here's more. I haven't got proof, so I'm not charging you for what I'm about to say. Akiko falls in love with her troops. That's why she hurts so much. She has had a string of relationships throughout the islands. That's weird. Is there someone special on this island? Maybe Koi. Captain Vol. He's the highest ranking marshal under Akiko. Interesting. Juicy Goss. Thanks, Crimson. The highest ranking marshals are chosen to guard the council during the birth of a new island. Maybe the hell? So he was murdered last night. Secrets free Looks mysteries. that way. So if her lovers are dying when the island ends, her motive is to kill the council to push her agenda through, get her marshals into the syndicate, and make them immortal. Sure. That's a pretty big bet to make. Secrets I agree. Issues. Something doesn't add up. <gasps> what about Voth, then? If Akiko was involved, did she let Voth die? <laughs> a sacrifice for the greater good? Uh. I need to find some more truth. All right. Why would Carmelino want to kill the council? Nice doing business with you. You know this cost, right? Oh, absolutely. A pleasure doing business. Carmelina isn't allowed on the council. The Silence family were barred from ever being on the I council. You remember her father's crime, right? Romeo's fall from grace. Got it. He was deceived by cosmic deceit. Bingo! Cosmic deceit deceived him with promises of power. And standard stuff. Cosmic Deceit wanted Romeo to sacrifice Crying Grudge in a ritual. That would give Cosmic Deceit enough power to resurrect. Resurrecting the gods is our mission, but not at the expense of deceptions and sacrificing other gods. Romeo was stopped before he could go through with it. His punishment was execution, and the rest of the family being barred from a council seat for eternity. I mean, we already knew most of this. So, okay, so hypothetically, what's the, the motive? Investigator is Let's here. say she killed the council. You mean how she's on the throne right now? Could she have been sure she would have been on the new council? That the law would be overturned? It's a gamble. She's the architect of Perfect 25. If the transition to the new island goes sideways, she's a good candidate to handle Thank it. Thank you. That's not a sure thing, though. Who knows what other options Judge considered? Impossible to know how they'd interpret the law. If this was her goal, I bet she was planning on bargaining with the new council on the new island. Get them to overturn the ruling after delivering Perfect 25. Has Carmelina protested the ruling in the past? She submitted motions to have the ruling overturned and to get on the council. All have been denied, though. Okay. Can I see these motions? Of course! I pulled them from the Moon Database. I'll give you a little extra for free. I don't know if this helps with anything, though. Hit me. About 25 years ago, Carmelina went into isolation for a year. No one saw her. That's strange. Any idea why? She said it was for work. She had a new project and didn't want to be disturbed. Nothing ever came of it, though. We never were shown the fruits of her labor. Ooh, the why do you think this matters? You know when you get a bad feeling and it festers? 
Maybe I just needed to say it out loud. Maybe it means something. Now I'll see what I find. Interesting. Alright. Why would Doom Jazz kill the council? Business. Business. Got the cash to pay for a secret? This is a big one. Syndicate's origins aren't what they seem. Good work. He knows the original secret. Before the first island, during the Great Betrayal, Monster had made a mistake that got Doom Jazz's father killed. This was before you joined up with the Syndicate. He was our original military general. Legendary soldier. I'd always heard rumors about him before I joined the Syndicate. There weren't many humans the gods feared, but he was one of them. When the Syndicate fled to the first island, Montserrat made a stupid call to investigate a tomb that was supposed to contain a heavenly weapon. <laughs> he was wrong. There was nothing there. Doomjazz's father attempted to hold off the pursuing armies during Montserrat's folly. It was too much. Our pursuers broke through and killed half of the Syndicate before we got away. Secrets are dangerous. The incident was struck from history, but some of the existing council members know about it. <laughs> Eyes Kawami likes to talk when he's had a drink, and Doom Jazz was his closest friend. He let the secret slip. What the hell? Was. Don't be coy. Eyes Kawami had some skeletons in his closet. Got found out the next island was going to be a bad time for him. He took his own life a few years ago. They had been friends since the Great Betrayal, hadn't they? Eyes got Doom Jazz out of a torture chamber where he lost his arms. Doom Jazz refused to give up his medical studying even as the haunted ziggurat in Scotland was besieged. He was captured, tortured, and fled after Eyes broke him out. They were late joining up with the Syndicate and Doom Jazz missed his father's death. By that time, it had been covered up. Interesting. Why does Doom Jazz have a photo of Akiko? Thank you. Gotta pay, lady. He was in a relationship. He still loves her. It didn't work out. She can't relate to people who aren't soldiers, and he can't keep his dick in his pants. A strange choice for him. Thank you. Akiko is an amazing soldier. She's intoxicating to watch at work. That's Why does that give him motive for the council murder? The original secret. Monsterbot was planning on doing a similar operation that got Doom Jazz's father killed. A suicide mission for Akiko. Doom Jazz found out. That's weird. So he killed the council to protect her. Wouldn't you kill a bureaucrat to save the person you love? Yeah, probably. What do you know about Lydia and Sam? Is I know that it will cost you. Good. I know about their last job. <gasps> what last job? I have my way. Back in the day, Lydia told you that after she met Sam, they left the world of assassination for good, right? It isn't that easy. Once you're in that world, you are bound to it until you fulfill all of your duties. An assassin is the most effective tool in the world. All tools have owners. In order to leave their old life behind, Lydia's former master had her do one last job. Honey. She had to destabilize a government in Europe. Several dead officials allowed for regime change. That's weird. Why didn't she tell me this? We've been friends for a millennia. She's ashamed. They vowed to end the killing. Sam helped her do the job. They were in it together. It's not as romantic as the story they told everyone, is it? Thank you. Always be suspicious of romantic stories, lady. Life doesn't work like that. Is this what the council murder is? A regime change? <laughs> Who can say? Was it revenge? A crime of passion? A regime change? You've got some investigating to do. Talk about Witness. Do you know why Witness would want to kill the council? Let's see your crystal. Good work. I know Witness was growing to despise Montserrat. Montserrat was tightening his grip on us all. Montserrat was giving into paranoia, worried about his precious, perfect island. We're in a dark time. History was repeating. The island was shrouded in fear. We'd all grown complacent and happy in our freedoms. Montserrat had always been building towards a perfect island and a perfect syndicate. As you know, the syndicate was formed with the goal of resurrecting our gods. 24 islands in, and we weren't doing a good job. <laughs> Almost all of the pyramids out in the ocean sit empty. Montserrat didn't care, though. He decided that was step two. Step one was the Syndicate. Our efforts have always been divided between resurrecting the gods and improving the islands. 
If Montserrat could make the Syndicate perfect, we could give our full attention to the gods. Why wouldn't Witness want to go along with that? You've been gone a while. Montserrat changed. So did Witness. Witness didn't trust Montserrat at all. The investigator is Has here. Witness been deceived by a god? Not that I'm aware of. I've never had that suspicion. I think this is just some self-radicalization. He slipped further and further into worship and fear of the Astral Masters. You don't need to be deceived into being a servant when you've got a healthy dose of the end times fear in you. <gasps> So Witness murders the Council to put the fear of gods into them and to refocus the Syndicate on our holy mission. I'm not saying that's what happened, but if you want to pin a motive on Witness, it's what I'd go with. Witness believes we're heading for the end times. What the hell? How could we have end times if our gods are dead or dormant? Only a handful of gods came to Earth, the rest of them are out there. The gods are self-serving morons. They'd never look out for their own kind. Hey. Take it up with witness. I have no time for religious debates. Talk about Yuri. Did you see Yuri last night? Yuri handles Lydia on the last night of an island. You should speak to her. Oh, you got nothing on Yuri. Wow, okay. You gotta have some on Akiko. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? Thank you. I didn't see Akiko last night. You should speak to her. No, oh, okay, all right. Did you see the architect last night? Be coy. I heard she was hanging out with Witness last night. You should ask her. Seems odd. Did you see the doctor last Thank night? Thank you. I know something about his clinic. I know something about his clinic, but won't charge you. Find the back door. Oh god, yeah, we fought. we saw that. Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements last night? I got nothing more than what Akiko says. Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? Lydia should have been doing her fairy woman duties. The log at the gate should confirm something about that. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? Weird. Henry's possession worries me. Nothing has surfaced about it. It's either as they say or someone is keeping a secret. How did he get the knowledge to communicate with the gods? The library in the HQ was full of forbidden grimoires. What do you know about the escape last night? Secrets about that haven't worked their way to me about Henry's escape. If you think there's more to it than there seems, there might be physical evidence near the scene. If what the report says is true, the only way to the council building is through the Syndicate HQ. If we went through there, he'd have been logged. Check the Nightmare computer logs. Okay. Alright, well hey, let's hang out, Crimson. You seem fun. Got time for a chat, Crimson. You find yourself in an island full of criminals, lady. Are you one of them? A criminal plotting the downfall of paradise? Not for the crime you're investigating. What does that mean? All shops need stock. My trade is secrets. I don't have a wholesale supplier I can get deliveries from. Why? Why you? Boredom, mostly. Who knows? I never should have let Montserrat convince me to be an idol. There's something wrong with being an idol. Thank you. There isn't, but it's not the life for me. I was caught up in wanting to help the Syndicate. I gave up a life I loved. We are the Syndicate, the ruling elite. It's easy for everyone in that tower to think that crime is something everyone does but them. I'm just keeping a record. Got it. Which you sell. Good work. You're the one buying. That's fair. All right, how about this upgrade? How can I help, lady? Oh, we can get skins, too. All right, let's talk upgrades first. Crimson, have you got any upgrades for Starlight? I have my way. You've come to the right place. I guess you're breaking into those nightmare computers looking for evidence, right? I've got an upgrade which will give Starlight the ability to read more of the symbols. Get you into more systems and more evidence. Nice doing business. I can do it for ten blood crystals. Uh, best offer. <laughs> do it. I'll take it. Yeah, I had a feeling it was Cosmos. I feel like that's the one we see most. Nice doing business with you, lady. You'll need to install this manually, lady. Take a look in your inventory. If you need more upgrades, you'll have to look elsewhere. That's the only one I have. <laughs> you should try buying a drink if you have it. Heat on the street is the dead nebula knows where one sure. is. Oh, believe me. We, uh, we're kind of aware. I also heard one of the power station employees found something they shouldn't have. Power station. Interesting. Got it. I'm on it. 
How can I help, lady? How about some skins? Selling any skins for Starlight? Business is sure am. One skin for one crystal. How many do you have? Just one or what? How can I help? Yeah, let's just... Let's just is here we go. <laughs> Guys, are, are these ones I can get elsewhere? Or what's the deal here? I'm gonna go like a few and then see see if there's still more after that. Business is it's not, it's not even show me what they are yet. How can I even know if they're good? What kind of shop is this? Unless you, you buy something without even seeing what's there. Alright, I'm gonna go till I have ten blood crystals left. Nice doing business with you. And then if there's still more after that, we'll leave it for later. Good work. Alright. So one more. Well, that's all I've got for you. Okay, here we go. Alright, so knowledge tablet for starlight. Manually insert it using the inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we'll do that in a second. And what we got here? We got investigation freak. We've got a glimpse of serenity. The start of the day is filled with so much promise. Anything can happen. It won't. Impassable space. This area of space can only be traversed by an ancient race of octopus-like creatures. Their bodies harden into crystals to protect them from innumerable micro maelstroms. Possible crucible. One school of thought claims this area of space is the crucible of life. Another school of thought contests that it isn't, but hasn't provided an alternative. <laughs> A billion stars. All those stars looking down on us every night. Harrowing, isn't it? What do they want? What do they watch? Why do they watch? Fleeing moon. The moon will be back. It has to be. It always is. Pop art. Ooh, I like that one. Good look. Alright. So that's, I mean, that's everything, right? Yeah, okay. Alright then. See you later, Crimson. May your journey be endless. And may you reach the moon. All right, well, that was a real treasure trove of information. Jeez. All right, is there anything else this way? Is this lead out somewhere else? Oh, okay, wait. Before I do anything, though, we need to uh, manually install here before I forget. Fantastic. All right. So this lets me out over here. Definitely seen this before. Have I unlocked this one? I have not. Oh wait, 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 what? Oh wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean to. Well, actually, if we are doing this, there is something that I want to do. Then I, I want to go here because I want to find that broken vending machine again and get our other. Upgrade. I do believe it's like right here. It was in one of these, if I'm remembering correctly. Yep. Okay. <coughs> wow. I'm. I'm <laughs> honestly did not know. It's very lucky. Is this one the one Dead Nebula told me to look for? A one. Knowledge tablet for Starlight. Okay. Oh, hello. Dead Nebula? Yo! You got the upgrade! Good work! Told you we'd come through for you. Thanks for the help. No worries. Oh, we've got to help the investigator of a mass murder. <laughs> Don't really have much of a choice on that one. Don't forget to install it from Starlight's inventory. Don't you think that's a hassle? An unnecessary step? I do, actually. Yes. Friction is nice. Makes things more meaningful. I guess. Well, let you get back to it. Remember to buy more drinks. Bye. More drinks. Okay. I, 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 I promise I will, Dead Nebula. You've, you've shown me that it's a worthwhile venture. Alright, so let's go ahead and install that then. Visions of worship. Alright, so that should help us get into a number of Nightmare computers that we weren't able to get to before. And uh, now let's take this. It'll cost one blood crystal. Man, I don't really want to do that then. Uh, you know, and let me take a quick look where I'm at right now. Because I know we're near a place where 
there were some nightmare computers that I wasn't able to use before. Alright, let's, uh, let's follow along, and if we see anything that we can use, we'll go ahead and do it. Oh, here we go. Another spinny step. Get nice and dizzy. There we go. God. Oh, God, it's so high. Did we go to this one before? Or was this another direction they didn't go in? Yeah, no, we haven't been here. Right. Whatever. Let's let's do it. Terrifying shallows. The water looks shallow. It is an illusion caused by a predator born in antiquity. Do not go into the shallows. Oh, interesting. Let's say, uh... Okay, we can get it. Island sequence? Island sequence 7! The citizens revolt against us. Grand Marshal Akiko 14 subjugates them. It is a bloody time. A time of shame and sorrow. Well, I can't imagine why the citizens would ever want to revolt against this system. There's something. Yeah, blood crystal up there. Alright, can I get to here? Yep. There we go. Blood crystal the tank. Alright, but it looks like nothing else is up here. Take a quick look to be sure. Yep. Okay. Something over that way, though. Ooh. Donation spot. Sure thing. May the silent go walk with me. Diaros. The fish that vomit. Skeletons laid siege to France for three centuries before the siege was broken in the Great Betrayal. Vomit skeletons, huh? Yes! Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's head up this way. Oh yeah, I remember this. I distinctly remember this. Ooh, there's something right up there. And a Shinji. Let's go over there. This is the uh, bath that we got the meditation at. Gonna be able to get past that way. All right, let's go this way. Then climb up. Shinji. Come on. Oh, okay. There we go. Ooh, the number one recording. I'm going to find out what's going on. This isn't right. This island feels wrong. I'm gonna blow this wide open. The syndicate. The syndicate. The syndicate. This island feels wrong. Shinji. You're in it mid deep, up to your eyes in crime, on a battlefield with psychosis and criminals. <laughs> That's my job. And you're cool with it? Sure. You can't investigate if there aren't crimes. So what? You're saying that? So what you're saying is that you never want to wipe out crime because then you'll have nothing to do. That's one way of looking at it. <laughs> it's the only way, if you ask me. <laughs> well, I didn't ask you, Shinji. I did. I'm lying. I always want to know what Shinji's thinking. Alright. So, we get back to the housing section here. Let's go. Let's go this way this time. Because we went, we went the other way last time. Into this jam. Anything in this house? Okay, and we're here. Back where we started. And you know what? It's a good place to stop for today. So we got quite a bit of information from Grimson. We got our two new upgrades for Starlight. It's going to allow us to get quite a bit more information. See you. See you up there. 
Uh, and we will continue exploring the island next time. Until then, this has been Downstage Gaming. I've been your host, Josh, and I will catch you all next time.